Twins win, beat the Dodgers, hopefully breaking out of their slump. Hopefully. Uh, some beautiful defense in this game from Christian Vasquez and Carlos Correa. They combined on a couple of gorgeous plays here. Vasquez puts the throw right on the money, and nobody better. Nobody better than Carlos Correa at letting the ball travel into his tag. He catches and tags all in one fluid motion. Just gorgeous. And then game on the line here, really. Late in the game, Twins only up a run, top of the seventh. Alex Kirilov's got to fish this ball out of the corner. Shohei Otani trying to score from first. Originally called safe, but upon review, Carlos Correa swinging all the way over from shortstop to get the relay. Puts it right on the money. Vasquez does a nice job here. You know, we have a new catcher at the plate rules. They've got to really give a guy a lane. He did a great job there. Kind of hard to teach an old dog new tricks. After the review, he was out. So unbelievable, unbelievable plays. Edward Julien also. Man, so good to see him doing his thing. His first career Major League two-homer game. His first career Major League homer off a lefty. Actually, only his second extra base hit ever off a lefty in the majors. Uh, he had one extra base hit in 51 plate appearances against lefties coming into this one. Uh, has worked tremendously hard at that, so uh, that's a huge deal for him. Byron Buxton also snapped the Twins' issues with runners in scoring position getting an actual hit. And Julian also appeared to have ended the game on this double play. He got a lot of mustard on that throw, not known for his arm, but another thing he's been working on. After review, he was safe, and oh, by the way, you just have to go out and get Mookie Betts out is all <laughs> in a 3-2 to two game. I was a little nervous that replay was, was going to hurt uh, that overturn, but nope, Okert gets it done to pick up the save. Uh, all hands on deck here. Julian... Three for four scores all three of the Twins runs. What a tremendous game out of him. You know, obviously such a huge part of this lineup. Um, can't really say the lineup really got going, but they scored enough today. Twins went three to two. Chris Paddock did what he needed to do to keep the Twins in this game. And then the bullpen, oh my God, it's bullpen. Uh, Cody Funderburk got some massive outs. Then it was Alcala, Stewart, Jax, Okert. Again, Jax blew the, them away, struck out the side. And then Okert picks up the save. I uh, didn't ha didn't see that one coming, but got the job done. Loving this bullpen. And Matt Bowman is a guy I want to show on the Saints, who might be a guy that we see eventually. A uh, 32-year-old, so he's not a prospect. He pitched a few games for the Yankees last year after spending most of the year in their AAA affiliate. Topped out at 93.7 tonight, but he throws a sinker, cutter, sweeper, and splitter. So far with the Saints this year, six innings pitch, zero earned runs, two walks, and seven strikeouts. Um, you know, obviously the Twins are already dipping pretty deep into their bullpen depth, but I could see him uh, on the Twins at some point. Uh, moving on over to Cedar Rapids, Zebby Matthews was on the bump, making his 2024 debut, and what a debut it was. Five innings, four hits, one run, zero walks, eight strikeouts. No walks and eight strikeouts. 53 of his 71 pitches were strikes. That is a 74.6 strike percentage, which is insane. Uh, he was sitting 95. He was topping out at 97 on the Cedar Rapids stadium gun. Uh, he had the second lowest walk rate among all minor league pitchers with, with at least 100 innings pitched behind Pearson Ohl, also in the system. So the Twins went 1-2 in that stat. So no surprise that Zebby didn't walk anybody tonight with eight strikeouts. was missing a lot of bats. Um, absolutely love it. Strike-throwing machine, a big fella too, as you see, 6-5. And plenty of muscle on him now. I think he's I think he's put on some good muscle this offseason. Uh, he looks a little bit more physically impressive than I remember him last year. So kind of an intense guy on the mound. Keeps it pretty business. But uh, his outing ended with a beautiful play by Ricardo Olivar, who catches quite a bit but plays quite a bit of outfield too. It was fun to see him and Danny DeAndrade uh, giving him some love on his way back. We got to take another look at this. This is like his third game ever in Cedar Rapids, so it's not like he knows this ballpark well, but that's a great catch. For, and again, a guy who just outfields not even his primary position. Uh, so very nice for Ricardo Olivar. Rubel Cespedes. Man, this dude is on a bender. Seven RBI tonight. He went three for four with a homer last night, four for five with a homer tonight. Wow, Rubel Cespedes. Moving over to the Mighty Muscles. Byron Chirillo, here's your nightly Byron Chirillo highlight. 
uh, with the Muscles Down run in the top of the seventh. He hits a triple to lead things off. Unfortunately, the next two guys are retired, and it's up to Brandon Winokur to try to get him in. And I don't know, I don't know how. There was some wind. I don't know if it was out. I don't know if Winokur's just this strong. But look at this swing. That goes out. I mean, he gets plenty of backspin on it, I'm guessing, but this that's a strong dude to hit a home run on that swing. Brandon Winokur hits a two-run home run, the go-ahead two-run homer there. He's feeling it. Look at that. Just pokes it out. Big, strong kid. Uh, he's got a 556 slugging percentage so far. He's played short, third, center field. All right, moving on to the notable performances. Here are the hitters. Again, Rubel Cespedes just on a tear. Um, only had a 711 OPS with the Mighty Muscles last year, but he did lead the team in home runs and RBI. So, again, we used to put his name on this uh, sheet quite often from last year. Uh, on over to the pitching rundown, man, Zebby Matthews again. What a great outing. Uh, that's Ty Langenberg, who was the Twins' 11th round pick out of the University of Iowa, who pitched for the Mighty Muscles tonight. And here's a rundown. The wind surge were postponed due to rain, so no double-A game tonight, but the Twins and Colonels win. Uh, thank you so much for checking this one out. We do one of these pretty much every one night, so come on back tomorrow for some more Twins and Minor League highlights. Thank you.